everyone and welcome to net crypto where you get important information and news about all kinds of interest and today we're going to be taking a look at metapets right so this is an update to the video that i did yesterday right i'm going to be showing you the true owners of metapets they did reach out to me uh, to prove that d norris indeed stole the whole idea of metapets they infringed on the intellectual property and trademark of Merapets. So this is the email that I received from the true owner of Merapets, who is Robert Rice, who actually filed a patent, right, in, of Merapets uh, protecting his uh, rights in terms of the whole idea and everything. So he says, I just watched your video about Merapets coin that you just released a few hours ago. So this is the day before yesterday, if you remember. Uh, that i did release a video and i was saying a lot of p i'm hearing a lot of rumors that metapets is trademarked and the true owners of the trademark uh they've reached out to metapets but i could not find any evidence in relation to that right so he sent out this email to just explain uh the, the position of the true owners of metapets so he says my company transmira is the trademark for metapets and of course if you want the the urls all the links to everything that i'm talking about in this video they are just down there in the description you can go and check them out you can check out the patent you can check out the domain and everything else so he says uh continuing with the email we have the domain metapest.com uh, an app in the app store patented technology and much more right uh the uspto is uh, for federally registered trademarks which are not necessary to have a trademark or intellectual property related to a brand a name or a logo also simply filing an application with the uspto does not grant any rights and even if the application is granted they may be challenged and invalidated so if you already have a trademark and you go and file it with the uspto right um and someone else already has that trademark, they can come and challenge you. That's basically what he is saying right here, right? For me, when I did that video, I wanted to check if these rumors that I'm hearing are actually true or not, right? Because you cannot just go and say someone is stealing someone's trademark without any evidence, right? So obviously he did reach out to me and uh, of course he did prove that indeed he owns the trademark of Metapets. So we see here that it is indisputable that Merapets coin is infringing on our trademark and brand and we fully intend on enforcing our rights and protect our brand and ip and this is absolutely true because the evidence is overwhelming Merapets coin not only did they just say we're taking the name Merapets, they are infringing on everything like the intellectual property so this is the the ip this is the actual um patent right that uh, robert rice and his company transmira like registered in, in 2019, 2018, in fact, 2019, you do see this is the patent. It was granted in 2021, June, right? So it did outline everything to protect their rights and metapets. Uh, D. Norris just came and stole this whole idea, stole the name, stole almost everything, right, about metapets. And you do see they also have the domain. And just uh, take a look here. They're saying, uh, Merapets trademark, unique, interactive, AI-driven and customizable 3D NFTs, collect, feed, train, play with and trade your pets in augmented reality and in 3D virtual worlds by Omniscape. Right, so obviously you're seeing that uh, this is the same thing that Dino is, is repeating in his white paper and all that. You can have your cows, you can feed them, they can have milk, you can sell the milk, you can... Um, race horses and all that so he absolutely stole the idea it's not like he just accidentally used the name mera pets he used the name he stole the idea he stole the intellectual property he infringed on the patent and now he is being challenged right so i have indeed reached out to d and advised him of the infringement and we are currently discussing his options to resolve this right so this is a major problem for d norris right here and do you want to hear what he had to say uh, in uh, today's AMA, right? Let's just have a listen. Um, there is a lot of talk around the BSC scan about certain things about MetaPets. And I will just address it right now. These are things we cannot discuss, but if you see the smile on my face, you will know that I am not at all either worried or negative about it. That's all I can say. I'm very positive about these talks that we're having with certain people. 
And I'm very confident that these talks will be proposed and will be delivered to our MetaPets family in a very great way in the future. And other than that, that's about it. That's about all I can report. Phil, how are you doing, buddy? So you see right here, he's saying that he's not worried. Obviously, it's not his money, right? If MetaPets has to be shut down, who is going to be suffering the most? Is it him? Obviously, it's not. It's the investors who put money into MetaPets. Those are the ones that are going to be suffering the most, right? So the best case scenario for this whole situation to be resolved is if the true MetaPets agree to their trademark continue to be used by D Norris, right, for exchange of maybe payment or something else, which is highly unlikely because you can see the work that they went through into patent, patenting this whole technology, right? Acquiring the actual metaplace.com domain and all that, right? And Dean Norris just came and stole all of that and started to use that information to have investors put money into a coin that he created called metaplace.com in a domain metaplace.com, right? And absolutely stealing the name, stealing the idea, stealing the IP and all that. So that's the best case scenario for MetaPets at the moment is for D Norris to pay a hefty, hefty settlement fee, right, to the true MetaPets. And that money, guess where it's going to be coming from? It's not going to be just a couple of thousand, like uh, the amount that Gastro Atland and stole from the project. It's not going to be 15, 20,000, right? It's going to be in the millions, right? Um, because you can see the work that went into this patent. Just check the work that went into this patent. All the URLs, like I said, they are down there in the description. You can go and read the whole patent, right? You can see the websites. You can see Transmira, right? Uh, you can see everything in terms of the true metapets, right? And Dino is just told all of this. So do you think that they are just going to accept just uh, receiving a settlement fee and then say you can continue using metapets and all that? It's possible, right? But we just have to wait and see what is going to be happening. But um, in all likelihood, uh, D Norris is going to have to change not just the whole thing of the pet in the metaverse, but uh, he's going to need to change the name. He's going to need to change everything that he has promised, like um, what is going to be actually happening in the metaverse. Of course, we know that with this project, there's absolutely no metaverse. It's all about words. So for him, it's just changing words. But we have been looking at this project and it took them three weeks, three months, three months to produce a website, right? It took them three months. And right now you're saying that people are farding against MetaPets and all that. This is not fad. These are facts, right? As you can see, the true owner reached out and said uh, that uh, MetaPets is infringing on his rights. And if we go to CoinMarketCap just to look at the price, let's just do a refresh, right? So we do see the price of MetaPets is tanking 5% down on the day, 90165 right and uh, if you look at the market sentiment they 91 percent bet there is no other project on coin market cap i've ever seen this so these are not bots these are people who are voting this is a massive scam and he says that we are not scammers because if we were scammers we would have run obviously you doxed yourself this is a slow rug like if you just look at um if you look here here today you see that the price is just being steadily going down of MetaPets. It's a slow rug. The price just goes down. The value of the coins you've bought of, of MetaPets just slowly goes down. And you can't really blame anyone. If the if Bitcoin price, like right now, it went all the way to 45000 right? Right now it's 40000 Nothing really is happening. So they'll just say, ah, you know what? It's the market. We can't control the market. But a lot of money has left the project. We did raise the issue of the marketing address constantly being changed. That, that, that was never answered, right? Why is the marketing address constantly being changed? A lot of people ask the question. It was never addressed. Why? They said, we need money to do things. Of course, we agree. But why is the marketing address constantly changing the answer we got is other projects they also do it but that's not what we are asking right so of course it's not a a, a a scam where you see like a rug pull right money has been taken out slowly right it's a slow rug right it's a slow rug i did say it was an unintentional scam but now we can see that it's fully intentional right uh, because not only are the investors scammed but also uh, the true owners of metapets have also been scammed, right? Uh, I don't know what you call this. 
because I can understand if you're just using the name Meta Pets by accident. It, you know, anyone can think of a name Meta Pets by accident, right? But here, you, you took the name, you took the idea, you stole the patent, everything, and launched a coin and started inviting people to investing into this idea. And of course, it's a great idea. Unfortunately, it was not Dean Norris's idea. It belongs to somebody else, right? So this is not fad. Just let me know in the comment section there what you think, right? I like to have this discussion. We've been looking at this uh, project for a very long time and we are waiting to see how this situation is going to develop, right? We are really waiting to see how the situation is to develop. In all likelihood, I see that um, I think they are reasonable people, the true owners of Metapets, uh, but I definitely... Adi Norris is going to need to change everything. He's going to need to change the name of the project and everything that is pro promising within the project, right? Because you can see the true owners of the Metapets, you can see the patent that they developed right here that I'm looking at, right? You can see that uh, they know what they're talking about, right? You can see they know what they're talking about. Unlike uh, the project we see in Metapets that Dean Norris is running, which takes them uh, three months to just roll out a simple website. Here, the patent is already out. You can see they've been working on this. But you know, before you issue out a patent, the idea will be fully developed. To the time that you go and actually patent something, it means you have spent months, if not years, working on something. And this is exactly uh, what you see in this patent coming out. A lot of work went into this, right? And Dean Norris just saw this idea, stole it, opened up a project, right? Like some reports come out, say this is not his first project. I don't know about that. I just know about Metapets. Right, and the evidence that is coming out. It's not FAD, it's facts. There's a very big difference between FAD and facts. And a lot of people need to learn that, including uh, the CEO of this project. These are facts, right? You can see the patent uh, right here. Right, so just let me know what you think. And uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.